Hi, this is Guy here from Weathertight, and I'm supposed to talk about wood rot. Anyway, um, again, back to wood rot. We were going to talk about wood rot. Bo's going to post a picture of some wood rot. And so you all know what wood rot is, and you might experience this if you're selling a home. Termite inspector comes around, he finds damage. It's called wood rot. You might think it's termite damage. No, it's water damage. Um, if wood continues to get wet other than redwood or cedar, so most houses are built out of pine and dug fir, and what happens when this wood gets wet, it's real dry, it soaks up that water. If it gets wet time and time again, it's not gonna happen in one rain. A leak from one rain in your house anywhere is not gonna cause wood rot, mold, or mildew at one time. What causes wood rot is when you have a continuous leak and it could be a real small leak and you don't even notice it. It's just soaking into the wood. And what happens is the wood starts to decay. Just like out in the garden when leaves and stuff sit and lay down at the bottom, everything is turning to decay. It's rotting. And this is how wood rot occurs on homes. Typically, your wood rot is going to be on your edges, around vents, vent pipes, or valleys. Not very often will you find wood rot in the middle of a roof. Uh, it's always going to be somewhere where there's a termination of the roofing, like at a vent, or a valley, or an edge. And uh, what happens is something's been misdone, or it's just gotten old. Uh, very often, I see a lot of roofers, they don't overhang their shingles at all. They run their shingles flush. Water's coming off that shingle, and it rolls right back in underneath the shingle, and the whole bottom edge starts rotting off. Um, you can look up at your fascia board, and you might see plywood edging. The plywood shouldn't be showing that plywood is going to suck up water like a sponge and it's going to rot. But it's decay that occurs naturally from water. And so something's got to get wet and then it's going to rot. But again, it's got to happen time and time and time again for that to occur. So if you have any wood rot, we take care of wood rot as long as it's in your roof line. We don't want to rebuild the house or anything else. Uh, give us a call at Weathertight Roofing, and it's 951-929-0557, or check us out on the internet at weathertightroofing.com.